Hi everyone, welcome and uh, thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to discuss about five words and three actions. See, these are the studies uh, did by a couple of scientists some time back and then it was also presented in a TED Talks um, by the professors. So, you know, this has a profound impact. But then again, how you use those words makes a difference. So without further ado, I would like to get into it and then get most of it and uh, to use this for your daily lives, for you to get better in whatever you do, uh, to improve your relationships and your communication skills. The first three important words are tell me more. So when you're listening to somebody and you're in a conversation, then without interrupting them or without trying to give your answers properly listening to them. So always when you ask someone, tell me more about it, which gives you the, the, the person who is telling you or also for you, uh, you know, deeper understanding on between both of you or also to the person who is telling you will be able to give you that you're genuinely listening to them. Obviously, you know, uh, if you're not genuinely listening to it, you shouldn't be asking that question. But when you say, tell me more, that can open up on both the sides a good relationships. Now, there is something called what next. So when the conversations are deep conversations are happening, or when you're listening genuinely for someone, um, uh, with a genuine care, be it in your relationships or in a workplace. What next will leave you uh, to first is to understand their perspective. If it is a work to, you know, what, what is a, a next step of action without you telling them what they should be doing it. So if you ask that open-ended question, what next, that would definitely give the other person that their opinion is being valued and then you're genuinely listening to them. You take your own calls based on completely listening to the person. So tell me more and what next can definitely help you uh, to get better in, in your daily communications. And of course, followed by these three actions. One, pay attention. Paying attention is very, very important in our daily lives particularly when we are dealing with the people and when we're communicating. There are many times that um, you just ask yourself, when we say, how are you? Are we standing and listening to the person that 30 or 15 extra seconds that are we genuinely listening to the person that for the question you throw at that, that particular gentleman or the lady? When you say, how are you? You, you better make sure you stand for the 15 seconds and listen to the person that the response. If you don't have a time, just say hi, hello, good morning, and then move on. But particularly when you say, how are you? You may get a point that you stand for 10 extra seconds or 15 extra seconds to listen what person has to say. That makes a lot of difference in your daily lives. And then again, as a point which I had mentioned earlier, listening carefully by open-ended questions. Um, like tell me more on what next and listening genuinely listening uh, is something that you should inculcate on your daily lives for you to improve on your communication skills last but not least be the last one to speak Nelson Mandela was highly regarded as one of the great leaders so once he was asked that um, how does he reach to that level of uh, understanding from a different people and he he gives a, a very good uh, example that when he was a kid so his father was a tribal leader so there are two things he always observed they always sit in circles and his father was always the last person to speak so and that's what he picked up uh, over a period of time and that's what he implemented in each and every situation where he had come across you know there's something that uh, Simon Sinek also mentions this one of his um, speeches that that's something that very important for all of us to uh, practice uh, listen carefully and willing to listen genuinely and always be the last one to speak. So, for, for example, you know, if you if you take that also, say, you know, any industry or organization you're working in, uh, you have a meetings in the mornings. So instead of you opening up the meeting, then you should start with others 
so that you know maybe there are certain things that already your team had already taken some actions on it so without you erupting first thing in the morning so you have an opportunity to listen each and everything and then be the last one to speak you know there is always a time for you to turn and then speak and express your opinions what good what bad and you know what could we do better so that way you be, the communication gets much better and better so with that note i would like to leave you today always be the last one to speak so follow these five words tell me more what next genuinely listen to the people and always be the last one to speak i'm sure your communication in all your relationships be it personal and professional will get better and better when you practice for yourself thank you stay blessed stay tuned and uh, see you in the next video thank you